about our daily devotional thought today, let me just give you one little thought and then we'll look at a bigger thought. In Jeremiah 3, verse 2 and 3, it says, Look at the shrines on every hilltop. Is there any place you have not been defiled by your adultery with other gods? You, you sit like a prostitute beside the road waiting for a customer. You sit alone like a nomad in the desert. You have polluted the land with your prostitution and your wickedness. That's why even the spring rains have failed. For you are a brazen prostitute and completely shameless. We talk a lot about climate change today. Please forgive me. I do believe we should take good care of the earth. We should be good stewards of the earth. But part of being a good steward of the earth is to live right. The worse sin becomes, sin has an impact upon creation. It did at the beginning and it still does to this day. You want to know the biggest, the biggest cause of climate change? The sinfulness of mankind. He said, that's why even the spring rains have failed. You want to know what changed the climate? He said, it's your, it's your idolatry. It's your prostitution to foreign gods. Think about that one. But now let me teach you something different. I want you to notice God's wonderful, gracious heart. Sometimes people wonder, will God accept me back after all that I've done? The answer is always yes. Jeremiah 3, verse 12, Therefore go and give this message to Israel. This is what the Lord says. O Israel, my faithless people, come home to me again, for I am merciful. I will not be angry with you forever. That's God's message to you today. If your heart has gone astray from God, God says, come home to me again. Come home to me again, for I am merciful, and I will not be angry with you forever. You say, well, all right, how do I do that? Well, there are four steps to return that he lists here. Jeremiah 3, verse 13, acknowledge your guilt. Jeremiah 3, verse 13, admit that you have rebelled against God. Jeremiah 3, verse 13, confess your sins. Jeremiah 3, verse 14, return to God. Now, if you'll just simply do that today, if you'll acknowledge the guilt of your sins, if you'll admit your rebellion against God, if you'll confess your sins and return to God, your heavenly Father looks at you and says, um, come home to me again, for I am merciful, and I will not be angry with you forever.